Hello, this is Daily 75 Games. Welcome to another one of my Project 1999 EverQuest videos. We're going in for the last of the scale mystic armor. I have my van braces, which is a fancy old term for your arms, and uh, my two bracers that I need to get. And uh, see, I have banded, and that would actually clear up the last of the banded on my character. And uh, so I've reached level 34. I'm close to 35. I was. Oh, you just jumped right off. So I'm with needs more buffs. Um, couldn't do this unless I waited probably another 10 levels before I can go into Kesora. And that's the first place we're going in. You can see needs more buffs way up ahead. And um, congrats, needs more buffs. You actually picked up a horribly expensive spell called Torpor. Cost him over 100k, and he was working on saving up the money for, I think, a few weeks. So it's quite the amount of effort put into doing that. Something that I'm not sure if I did do that, it would probably take me a few months <laughs> with the uh, playtime that I'm able to get in. Uh, so I lost him. Lost, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is how you get into Kesora. Not 100% positive on that, though. And there's a very scary red skeleton around here somewhere. So I don't want to... Um, I might have cut that out on one of my videos that I put up. I think I did. I had wandered into Case Sora. Um, I think I showed uh, like a, a minute of it, but I was in here for a few minutes. And the video was just too long. I had to cut it. But there was a very scary skeleton. and uh, I'm not sure what level it is. Okay, so he went in. And I need to find the entrance. Maybe I should just start looking for it. Um, if that skeleton does show up, then I run. I guess I run to the guards. Oh, there's a dead skeleton right there. That's it, Targishin. And I just got a flyby hug from somebody named Swage. <laughs> I see it. Whoa. That is a steep, steep set of... Steep ramp. <laughs> I was going to say a set of stairs, but there's no stairs there. And, um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of EverQuest Next Landmark. And I put up three of those videos on my website. Um, and keep in mind, guys, EverQuest Landmark is separate from EverQuest Next, although it is attached in that... The creations you create in EverQuest Landmark will carry over, they, they can carry over to EverQuest Next, and you can even create dungeons and possibly even PvP areas that are considering that for the future. I have never been in here in my life. Uh, I just got hit with a C Invis, and he's invisible, or he was invisible, I suppose. So I walked right past him. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Let's invis up. I was wondering what spells I should put on myself for this. Um, so I'm not going into normal attack. I love the new dot that I have, the Scourge. Um, it's almost as much as, uh, what's the main, Invent and Breath that I use. It's But it lasts like three times as long. Um... <laughs> I have no idea where to go because it's sort of sort of a low level mob and wasn't listed in P uh, wiki. Um, so he's asking where we're to go. We're looking for a frenzied gnar and uh, somebody says near the entrance. I, I think it might have been on the channel. Yeah, sort of sort of sucks go in blind like this um, <clears throat> yeah after the last video I put up just late last night uh, I haven't had much time to do many videos at all um, something like this I hope I get done and that I'm able to put up this week uh, so today's Saturday I'm hoping to have this video out tonight if not I really tried guys um, so we'll see how it goes uh, <laughs> after you. Maybe we should have uh, Levitate on.
So, uh, yeah, I hope I wasn't too voice first in the third EverQuest la Next Landmark video that I made. Um, I didn't mean to come across as strongly as I did, and I was considering editing that out, but my wife had said it's fine. Although she's not a gamer at all. I wish she was. Um, so she, her opinion with this kind of stuff isn't really hold that much weight, other than more like just... Uh, some person on the street when it comes to uh, their opinion on games and um, so north of here is the room with the reaver I there's I don't know what a reaver is sorry anybody else here but us oh there's um, 39 up to 52 that I see bunch of different mostly Europa a couple Asgard one and glorious bastards Um, I'm not sure. It's opening doors take away your invisible. No, it doesn't. Well, that's good. To oh, go down again. Uh, crap. I hope I don't die. Oh man, hope I don't die. Oh, crap. Uh, Forty-three percent of my health. It's not that bad. Skeleton minion. He's blue. Whoa, what happened? Well, he's dotted up, so I can maybe add my dot. Blue to me. Yeah, so I think they start at level 35? <gasps> oh no, I might die from this. Uh, crap. Sorry. Um, I'll help as best I can. I, I didn't think that they would see through doors. Um, crap. At least they're all blue to me, I think. Might as well try to get in the next room, because it's got to be better than here. Am I getting hit again? Every wall I go up in here. Wow. Yeah, it's a little scary. Um, I suppose we're just going to dot them all up. I'm going to... Okay, so whatever is hit, I'm going to just start dotting them up. So I'm not going to stand here and not contribute. That one's dotted. This one. So you have my uh, scourge up. It's a bunch of ghosts and, and stuff. Undead skeletons and spirits. Too bad I won't get experience for this. I'll get lower, level 35. Uh, I'm almost afraid to sit. Well, did he throw on... You know, it's my regen, so that's, that's fine. It won't do. And uh, he... A little scary. So you guys, check out my um, EverQuest Next Landmark videos. They're not going to take over from these videos, of course. Uh, I'm just planning to put out uh, basically what's, what the game is about and show my progress. I don't plan to put out hour-plus videos a week. Um, I might put out one or two 20-minute to half 35-minute videos a week, and that's about it. That uh, last one went longer than I wanted it to be, and I had to add a bunch of things in the end because I think it didn't come across. Um, my point didn't come across as strongly as I would like why I like Landmark and why I'm supporting it. But um, yeah, I think I need. What do I need to be? 50% above your level, so level 40, I might get experience if I was level 40 with him. Ravener. Frenzied Nar looks like the Ravener. Oh, maybe nuke it. Nuke, nuke, nuke. I like this new um, direct damage spell as well. It's pretty powerful. Uh, that guy could use a dot. 
Spectral Guardian. Yeah, since uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm bound right out of here, I, I don't have to worry. Well, if I died, yeah, it would be a pain. I'm not sure, should I keep Gate ready? I can't use uh, Spare the Wolf anymore, so I might as well. Just in case things get really, really hairy. And he didn't come for me, this new ad. He went for needs more buffs. But if he's going to be rooted... Minion of Zalgaz. Strange names. So yeah, I'm not sure if... Um, you see... Like, they're undead, right? So they're going to see you through our invisible. This is going to be tough going. Yeah, I saw how bad it was on the map. Yeah, you said this layout is pretty bad. It's like a crazy maze inside KSR. I have no experience in here, and he has very, very little experience, too, so... Things like this just add to the fun. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, though, one of the, the greatest feelings, though, is putting together um, a video like, say, the Skull Quest, and because that was probably the most difficult video I've put together, like time consuming and irritating, and um, well, I wouldn't say so much irritating, more time consuming. And uh, probably the last scale mystic armor quest, the one where I was fighting the skeleton that killed me a couple times, and uh, those two are probably the toughest ones I've had to do yet. And it's just when you get it all together, put it on your channel, and people check it out, leave comments, and thumb it up, thumbs, give it a thumbs up. That's probably the best feeling you can have of accomplishment. It's not so much that hey, I did it. It's just like I get to show everybody this is what I did. I hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into this. Um, if you ever want to do this for your own shaman, uh, this is what you have to do. And I'm hoping to help. I'm also hoping to bring more people to the server. I've noticed that there's been an increase in... What's a spectral pestle? If it's no trade, it's no good. Um, I'm hoping to bring more people to the server, and I've noticed that there's been a lot more people who have joined recently. I, I saw um, a heck of a lot of people. It was about 1,200 were logged in at the same time. And when I first started, it was about, what, uh, 1050, you would see, the most. So, I mean, it's gone up a couple hundred people, boats. And uh, that's, that's a pretty big increase. for It's about 15 to 20%, approximately. Uh, that's a pretty large increase in, what, since August, when I started playing. So I'd say it's pretty good. Um, oh, he's talking to me. At this point, we're dealing with undead, so invis will be useless here. This leads further down. Do we need to go up? I can look on the map again, but it probably won't show a thing. I'll check it out. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to check out the map again just to make sure. So we kind of drop down close to what's called the Frenzied Room, and should be close, we should be close to where we should be. Um, somebody had said one of the old Zam comments that sp spiders are placeholder for the Frenzied Gnars outside the Frenzied Room. And they're camped there for a couple hours. Um, these guys are a little bit tougher, both yellow to me. Three undead. Maybe we should have pets. Should pets? Should we have our pets? Um, my pet against a yellow wouldn't help very much. It would kill it. My pet's actually pretty good. I've been playing around with it for whenever I've been on in the game. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to dot this thing in case it, it comes after me. Uh, needs more buffs in the other room. Uh, got lost, actually. N not sure where we are. These rooms are very tight. I mean, the map, I guess 
You would, it kind of looks like it should be larger, but these are very tight rooms. These guys are yellow to me, so I don't really want to grab aggro. They're kind of upset with needs more buffs, though. So I, I don't really want to wander off my own. That's kind of without him. That'd be kind of stupid. So I guess we're just stuck until until we figure out what's what. And uh, when I guess when we come across the area, then I'll, I'll start the video again. But until then, I, I guess you guys don't really need to see all of our meanderings, getting lost and fumbling about. So I'll be back shortly. Well, for you guys, instantaneously. Alright, so <clears throat> going by the comments on Zam for this quest, somebody had mentioned that uh, the spiders are possible placeholders for the Frenzied Gnar. Now, uh, it seems to be that the Frenzied Room is the place to go, and we're going to try that. Uh, I think the Frenzied Room is right around the corner from here. First, we're going to get rid of these spiders before we kind of poke our heads in. And um, So it looked like you go straight down when you go in case, sorry, we went left. So you go straight down, and there should be a drop, and then I think you go a little bit further, or you turn left, um, and then this reminds me of newbie area in <laughs> in uh, Greater Fae. Um, yeah, turn left in a door and it should be the Frenzied Room about right there. So I think this is it. I could be wrong. Lots of spiders. Uh, so we came the back way around. Uh oh. I'm getting... I might die. Uh, yeah, a little nasty. Not so much for me, or for him, but for me, yeah. Sorry. I shouldn't have stepped in. It's my fault. <laughs> uh, resisted. Wow, these guys... Am I, I'm probably ducking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run... Oh, crap. This is a, a illusion door. Hidden door. And uh, I'm going to sit. <laughs> they were... These spiders are casting spells. Oop. Resist, resist, resist. Um, they seem to like me, like inordinately like me. Yeah, I just was resisting over and over again. to get my regen back on myself um, yeah spiders dead and then deal with the rest sure uh, I think that that was room I can't pause the video and alt tab out because of course I almost died and if it wasn't for it needs more buffs I would be dead probably three times over just from this last room Let him go in first. I'm not going to stick my head out. This is probably the most dangerous spot that we've gone to. And this is why I chose it first. I thought it would be an easy thing. Somebody had said that whatever I'm, I'm after spawns at the entrance. We kind of did a run through uh, past the library. And there was like, um, I forget the name of the other one. Uh, he's focused on him, not me. Yeah, he's facing him. Let's sit. Scary spiders. 
They're yellow to me. Oh no, one of them, this one right here is blue. That's not too bad. It's the yellow one that was chasing me that was doing a lot of damage. Okay, so be a little bit more comfortable now. Anti-venom. Now, I would like to go see if that is the right room. So I'll sit here, and he's he's buffed me up quite a bit, and I was still getting like a few hits, and I'm just down to less than half. It's a little scary. Okay, so we'll be right back. Let's see if this is the correct area. Okay, so we were outside the frenzy room. We killed them a couple times. Um, apparently, some people are saying that this Strathbone Healer Spider could be the placeholder. I guess I can help out in the combat. It's just a blue. There. Yeah, so it's a broken room, broken top floor. The Strathbone Healer. Uh, so it won't be this one that ha that drops it, but apparently, like a um, the frenzied gnar will, will um, alternate places with this one. So all we've seen so far are just regular gnars, nothing, no frenzied gnar. Is it a frenzied gnar? Yeah. Oop. Wonder why he attacked him, not me. I was closer. Oop. How many are there? Holy. What the heck? Well, I can dot all these up too, so. They're all blue to me. Oh, there's another one coming up ahead. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, this is a little tenuous, but I feel a bit confident because needs more buffs is a very competent player so that's one down it's the healer so that won't drop anything that I need now, so there's a couple lower level item drops that we got um, just from getting around here something called a deadwood stave it's got a life draw it's not a very good I mean it's eight damage 28 delay not super good I would have used that when I started out say as a shadow knight or a warrior if I had nothing else um, there's a, a rogue sword that just dropped. It's just it's piercing, seven damage, twenty delay. It's not too bad. That's actually better than probably better than anything I had before level fifteen. And it's plus four dex. And then there's a mask that dropped. I think it's for rogues as well. Oh no, it's just for a lot of classes. It's just three AC, two dex, and two stamina. Nothing really important. There's another group down here. Uh, kept seeing an ogre running around. I guess we could shrink ourselves. I forgot about that. Maybe I should shrink myself. It's not like I, I get the chance to do that very often. <laughs> really handy for large races. You can actually shrink other people's pets too. I find that a little funny. Too distracted. Shrink. So I can't see my shrinky dink. Well, this is all Trump change to him. If he does, if uh, needs more buffs, if you're watching this and you don't want any of these, I kind of feel guilty about looting everything. But I mean, I think he's used to picking up over a thousand platinum a day for mobs. So this is Trump change to him. It's better than I pick it up than it rotting, so. Yeah, I wonder how good this, this life draw is. I, did I just get hit with a dot? I did. So these spiders, they cast spells. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can get back up to the frenzied room from going down here, but all we need to do is get a frenzied gnaw and then we're out of here. Apparently it's a whip that shamans used to be able to use. Maybe it was broken. They shouldn't have been able to use it. 
one hand slash in weapon. <laughs> to make some water soon. Spider silk. Well, I can save it. Let's... In oh, no. Not invisible yet, because there's another one here to be looted. Nope. There's a lot of spiders are in this place. It's like, it seems to be half spiders. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Oh, can't see myself anymore. I guess my C invis went too. Well, let's see. Um, since I'm invisible, let's just see. There's a lot of pits around here as well. This can't. Oh, I can see through my invisible. Spider down here can see through. Is probably because they're casters. I mean, if they're dotting me, maybe they're a necro type. Let's see, maybe this could be even the same one. Yeah, this one can see through invisible. Oh, booyah! <laughs> there it is, the frenzy gnar. Lucked out, I guess. It's red. Well, I'll dot this one up. <laughs> this is what, when I went into Eve, this is a lot of... This the first thing I would see is people saying hello when they would go like this. Oops, I'm not getting it right. Like that, or is it the the little O? Yeah, like that. Uh, it's supposed to be like an arm held up to say hi, like a hand held up. So that's all you'd see is when you come into your my like, guild and, and Eve. <laughs> and then I guess, um, what is this? Yeah, like, oh, what's the heck? Where's the other slash? It's not like like I use it very often here. And then like this is like arms in the air, happy. <laughs> I just picked that up from somebody in my guild who that reminded me of that. Hooray! Yeah, that's adorable when I get I can get my two year old son to say hooray. <laughs> His English is so garbled. <laughs> oh, way! It's so funny when he says it. <laughs> so I guess I'll be, um... Well, I'm shrunk. So, uh, I don't need that anymore. I guess I'll be, uh, gating out of here. Easiest way to get out. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's kind of a problem. We have to find out a way for him to get out because I think that he binds himself to some dungeon. Uh, meet at Delner. Uh, maybe I should I should get the arms or uh, the problem is I can't do it all at once because um, I should go get all the items I need to hand it in is that the items because it's two bracers and I need four items from Delner and they're both lore <laughs> so it means a return trip which is just kind of stupid so I can hold on to the item until uh there it is. Done. Okay, so how do you want 
to get out. I want me to tag along. So, so a lot of people just said kill any of the spiders around the friends in our room. You, as you saw, I think that it's just a randomized uh, spawn. You saw we, we dropped down through the broken room, broken floored room, and uh, some people have said like the healing spider going up is the way out. Okay, let's try that. Um, I know that by some place in here that there is an exit so I'm not sure uh, I think it's was it by a temple I was about to alt tab I forgot <laughs> the the uh, video won't keep going we can try up um, there's some undead when we first came in you saw all the undead but we haven't encountered much I mean, it's by the library, yeah, there was undead, but then after that, all it was is spiders everywhere. Okay, so he, he invisited me. Oh. Wish I had thrown a, a regen on myself, but too late now. Oh, I guess I, guess I can. Let me do it. I, I really need the regen. Because what? Well, just afraid I'll run into uh, something else that'll see through, and then I don't want to die. I want to have pretty good health. And he he has buffed me up, so my health is probably pretty good. Pretty much have everything. I I'm sure there's better drops. We just have kind of crappy drops so far. Uh, I'm just gonna follow him. He's like a giant. Oh. Skeletal Guardian, okay. Skeletons, yes, they always attack. Undead area, again, eh? Canadian, eh? No, I am, I really am Canadian. <laughs> I usually don't go for saying stuff like that, but uh, it's about the only thing we say out here is eh. Like I said in another video, we do not say a boot. Those are people back east, and this is British Columbia. Beautiful British Columbia. It's even on our license plates. And it's where Vancouver is, and where tons of TV and movies are made. Rivaling, rivaling, rivaling. I can't even say it. Some words I have trouble saying. I don't know what the heck for. Rivaling, rivaling Hollywood. There you go, rivaling. No wonder my son can't speak very good. I can't even speak very good. <laughs> and don't even try to... I mean, cinnamon... Most of the time I say it's crazy. Like, cinnamon. Oh, let's see. This spider would have attacked me. Okay, that guardian's down. Now let's help him out. Kill this spider. So, um, I think this is the most difficult part just because of the level I'm at. And there's like a lot of pits in this. Like, they're all over the damn place. And I'm gonna throw on. Oops, I need that. I'm gonna throw on. Am I getting attacked? Oh, yeah, I was just dotted. Levitate for myself. And then invisible. You have a new health buff. It's, uh,. Talisman of Tanarg. So I can always... Did he put that on me? Altoona. It's probably... Probably better. Um, let's levitate myself. My levitate won't be as good as his. Uh, I think he has like a 16 minute levitate. I have like a 11 minute levitate. But it'll help. What, what is it he's throwing on me? Poison Bolt. Huh, I don't know what that is. Necro spiders? <laughs> Where's their pets?
Okay, spider's dead. One thing about these dots, it sure is like take a lot of time. I'm gonna come out here with a lot of silk. I've seen people selling it for 20 plat a stack. Uh, not sure if they actually were successful in that sale, but. <laughs> the giant needs more buffs. Oh, go down. Is this somebody? Oh, it's somebody's corpse. Oh, could this be up? Awesome. It's the exit this way. Not so hard. Oh! I guess that really was it, right there. Okay, so, downer now. Downer. Uh, what I'm going to need... So I can only pick up one... Uh, actually, you know, technically... No, I can only pick up one item. Because I already have one in the bank. So, going to hit the bank, then grab the item, then head to Delner. Um, so I will need to come back, because it's two braces, bracers, and they are actually really good. Um, they're plus two strength and plus two wisdom bracers. And where how the heck do you get out of here? I think it's this way. Is it? Just don't want to run into that Targishin or whatever it is. Okay, so I will need three items from down there. They are lore, and I need to do two trips. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, restart the video up when we are right outside of Downer, which will probably be about 10-15 minutes for me, and seconds for you guys. So we'll be right back. So I need a Frogluck Repair for the Scale Mystic Armor quest for the Vam Braces, and uh, while I'm here trying to hunt down the frog -like tongue warriors, I might as well kill this guy. I need his planks. Need your planks of some kind. Beat's coming out here a second time. I don't know what the drop rate is. Sometimes it's 100% on quest mobs. And other times, like it was for the first scale mystic quest where I was hunting down the charred bones, it took quite a while to find them. I probably killed, what, oh, 20 of them. Not all of it was on the video either. Charred bones out in the Lake of Ill Omen. Hopefully one more. Well, definitely if he's gonna come into melee range. I've got enough buffs on me. A lot of talismans. I guess that's what higher levels... Yeah, my strength is 141. It's regular, like, a, what is it, 100 or something? He didn't drop it. Okay, we're gonna keep searching for that one. Nothing on it. Keep searching. I suppose. Alright, so I will keep searching for those guys. Another repair attempt. Needs more buff spotted this one. It always helps to have a high level help you out on quests. Um, this one, not really, um, kind of feel a little bit bad about dragging him out to this one. Uh, he's definitely helped me, but I just, it's kind of a boring camp, at least with the Crusaders. The Undead Crusader, we had stuff to do the whole time. And these guys have like a 33% chance of dropping. 
the part we need. Bit of lag there for a moment. Oh, nothing. We'll keep going. Found the plank of wood on the Frogluck repairer. So that one, that part of the quest is over with. And so this will be for the Scale Mystic quest, and we'll move on to wherever else we're going. So probably be in the beginning area of it. <clears throat> back in Downer. Well, for me, it's back. I don't know if anybody else has seen it. Um, yeah, we need a coerced something. Coerced uh, Ixar, Erudite, Gnome, Dwarf, whatever. And they drop some kind of implant. And uh, I can fight. I can... F I can fight the things in here. I'm going to draw my pet. And uh, everything will aggro on me any anyways. So, um, yeah, then there's the lumpy goo, but I already have that drop. shrink myself um, yeah I didn't that last dungeon was everything was very very small or everything was just so closed in why am I not seeing shrink there it is <laughs> I'll shrink my pet too Uh, another thing I want to show you guys that that whip, the the tail from the frenzied gnar, I can actually use it. Uh, if you can believe that, and it's really weird because it's a one hand slash weapon, and shaman do not get the one hand hand slash skill. This one resisted me. Okay, we need mana. This one is almost dead. So coerced implant, I think it's called. And uh, this place is really difficult. Like, sure, don't need that. Um, lots of them, not small chance to drop. Yeah, we had that with my last group. Um, needs more buffs when you see this video. I was in a group in here. We were good, in, uh, doing well for a good hour, and then we lost our main tank, and we had a freaking monk that was trying to tank, and he was the off tank before, and it just we couldn't. He couldn't hold it. I mean, it would take pretty much all of my mana if he had two mobs on him to heal him up. Um, whereas the like the troll or ogre, whatever we had, I forget. It was like a month, month and a half ago. Um, he was doing awesome holding the aggro and wasn't, it was easy for me to heal. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately the tank had to go. Otherwise it might've gotten all the drops I need. Here's, here's another. Let's start her up. She's a necro. So that can get pretty nasty with their, uh, dots. Of course, anybody knows that. She's about to hit me. Oh, oh no, I zoned. <laughs> there goes my pet. Damn it. The zone line is right there. So I'll be resummoning my pet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my son's upstairs. It sounds like he's having a fit at the moment. He's in his terrible twos, so. Lots of fun. Um, so I backed out. This should. Okay, turn me right around. This is the way back into Delner. 
Um, yeah, yes, if I almost died. No, I just, I didn't know the zone line was right there. I thought I had a, a few steps left. I just wanted to get out of the way from her. I think she should be right here. She's dead. Nope. Made a mistake. Uh, let's see. Yeah, my son's making a heck of a racket upstairs. I'm sorry. What the heck? Okay, here, here's the whip in action, guys. Ever want to see Shaman use a whip? Here it is. <laughs> I'm not sure what special... Like, this is an actual weapon. Um, it's nothing great, of course, but... 6 damage, 25 delay. 2 AC, 5 versus poison. Um, if that had, like, a, an effect, that would be really cool. Okay. So let's... Um, Get back into taking this seriously. Get that whip out of my hand. And, um, okay, so what I want to do, um, let's take this and re get my pet. Companion Spirit. I just love my wolf pet. I was doing it, I was able to solo blues so easily. With the minimum, all I need is two dots and like a one or two roots, and then my pet will basically handle the rest. And it just, I was killing guards in eastern common lands, and it was going so fast. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to have the spirit wolf now. Oh, um, more buffs for my. Did I shrink myself? No, I didn't. Let's shrink myself. Shrink me, pet. That's what I used to always, always do. I and miss more. I remember that with my uh, ogre shaman. And people are like, "Oh, you're that. Oh, you're that shaman that always liked to be small." <laughs> yep, that was me. I guess I could put invisibility at the bottom. Scourge right here. Leave strength on. I'm not sure if he's buffing my pet. Probably not. There. So this may not be that long of a video, guys, because it's just all very straightforward and there's not too much camping. I'm probably in uh, Kisora for an hour and a half. Okay, put chloroplast on me. That's such an awesome spell. I can't wait to get that. It's, I'm not sure if it is, but it just feels like it's double the amount of regen. It's a 39 shaman spell. And uh, he's using torpor on himself. If you watch his little hit point meter go up fast. Yep, from 56 to 72, and he probably has a fair bit of health. Maybe he might have around 2,000 health, level 60. Uh, if I have a pet, I don't know, if my pet dies, then I can just throw on invisibility on myself. But, uh, yeah, I love my spirit pet. Oh, it's a blue. It's a solid blue. I didn't know that they came out random levels. Wow. <laughs> I think that's pretty damn cool. So, um, just getting my mana up, and we'll be going in further. Yeah, that uh, the group that we had, it just kind of fell apart after the, the tank left. Monks are not tanks. Uh, as much as I'd like them to be, I think 30 plus, they're not, like, just cannot be a real tank. You could probably get away with it if you're dueling, but if you go in a dungeon and you have a whole group depending on one monk, I, I just don't see it happening. We go in to the temple entrance. Yeah, I've been there.
Um, yeah, it's. A, I think it's a bit of a uh, what you call it maze at first. Whoa! Wow, it's kind of a maze. Do you see something? Damn it! That's gyrating goo. I need lumpy goo. So it's not the same thing. Throw on one of my scourges. Yeah, if my pet was dark blue earlier, it was always light blue, and I was still just kicking butt with it. The guards in Eastern Common Lands, uh, not Sergeant Slate, because he's like level 40, 41. Uh, the two guards actually got <laughs> put someone on ignore earlier about that. Um, there was a level four uh, ranger, I think. Sure. I'm like, oh, my, my pet's doing okay. Um, level four ranger over there. Wood elf ranger. I don't know what they're doing out here. I think Greater Fae is way better. Um, she was using one of the guards that I was hunting to, of course, run back to for safety's sake. Um, if it's really that bad, just zone. I mean, if somebody's killing guards and you know about it, like, come on. And she was there earlier for a lot of the time. She knew I was coming there and killing the guards, so I have to put up with that. I've told you stories uh, earlier about my ranger putting up with that in uh, the Rogue in Unrest video. Um, it, it happens. Kill guards for experience and loot. I was getting lots of fine steel weapons. I probably made 200 plat after camping them for many hours today. And, uh, so she said, can you please go hunt the other guards? Because, the other guard, because there's two guards. I'm like, well, then I'm kind of wasting my time if I just do that. And, and she's like, um, well, first thing she happens, I saw her dead corpse. I actually didn't see it. She said, can you heal? So I had the, the room was full. My son is, I'm looking after my son. Um, his video is playing in the background. I have Into the Portal with Geek Domo playing in, in my headset. And I'm camping the guard. I was actually literally fighting the guard when she came by and died. I guess she needed the guard. Then she's like, can you heal? And I, I thought about that, what that could mean. Obviously, it was meant to be rude because she, in her mind, I was just standing there and not healing her and saw her die. I didn't, actually. Then I saw the corpse. And then, what did she say? Uh, so we got into discussion about the guards, and she wanted me to go camp the other one. And um, I'm like, well, then it's, I'm kind of wasting my time. Well, what I was doing, I was auctioning at the same time I was doing this. So I was getting actually half decent. We need this guy. Half decent experience. I would say it actually wasn't bad experience for soloing. And uh, whilst auctioning, and I pretty much got it. I sold like eight items, and I bought couple items for my rogue and I was it was doing really well so I'm happy if I can if I just have to sit in these commons and just sit there and auction and twiddle my thumbs and read everything going by I get bored after a few hours um, but if I can get experience and do that like after every kill I would auction again and and you know it was working out well so what so I was kind of wasting my time if I just want to stick to one thing and she should she should know obviously because like well then, uh, what did she say? Um, this isn't a very high, uh, very efficient way to, to spend your time, or something like that. Meaning, obviously, that's her, her alt, and she has a higher level character, possibly even at sixty. And um, and then so I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll heal and buff you. And then she's like, no thanks. So you know what I said? I said, oh, all right, because I can feel the attitude from her. I said, welcome to ignore, and I put her on ignore. So yeah. Jeez, my son is not having a good time upstairs. <laughs> um, they're all dwarves are kind of funny looking in this game. Their heads are just enormous. <laughs> my pet is doing pretty well, I think. And then... You, t you go right, and then sharp left, and then follow to... F 
follow to the temple entrance. I think he rooted it. Let my pet deal with that. So I'm not wasting my time. But yeah, I was really happy. I was able to auction and get experience at the same time. And I noticed that the griffin was like yellow to me, and I've never seen that before. Uh, I may have, may have, with my other... I actually have no memory of taking on a griffin, but I'm not saying I didn't in the past. Because I did get... Uh, I got I, my other shaman up to like level 32, 33... And I got a wizard up to 35, and I got my Shadow Knight up to 48. So it's possible I actually went and killed one at one point. I just don't remember it. I definitely remember killing Sand Giants with my Shadow Knight. Soloing them, coming out pretty bad. Uh, I, I killed them, I just had hardly anything left. Yeah, see, my pet is attacking this light blue, and it's like taking no damage. Oh, he's given pet celerity. Yeah, all these things um, I throw on my my dot. Oh, this one's almost dead. I didn't know that there was another one back here. But he's got it. Um, what? Which one is this? This. Okay, that was the erudite. And. Yeah, there's two here. Oh, after me. Okay, I'm gonna dot them up. Do hell goblins? Do hell goblins, yeah. <laughs> Just about everything out here. Kill this freaking go- Oh, my pet's gone. What the hell? How? Oh, I guess I don't need to heal myself. How can my wolf die so quickly? It was dark blue. I wasn't paying attention. I guess I was- Wow. Stupid goblin. There's a goblin, goo, and some little gnome. That's weird that it died so fast. Yeah. Okay. Just waiting for it to. Sometimes when you put a new spell, it just seems to take a while. This thing heal itself? Really annoying. It's it's gotta be healing up. Uh it's asking for a big nuke if you ask me. Oh, it's almost dead. I don't know if that was an error because it went up to sixty percent. It's really, really strange. Uh, what's this? No, green goblin skin. I don't know if goblins drop it. It's only if it's not all of the coerced. It's a, it's a certain number. I'm pretty sure gnome is one of them. It's a fast uh, acting dot, poison dot. So some of my pet, as long as it doesn't get bombarded by three guys, and it should be okay. So the goo's dead. Come on, pit. There we go. <laughs> I love the noises that gnomes make. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty low on mana, so I'm gonna 
Need to met up after this. Ah, oh, what's with this? A canine. Gyrating goo. Oh, is that what I need? God damn it. Is it no drop? No drop. Gooey adhesive. Can we emic Can we multi quest this? Correct. We try to multi quest it, I guess. I've yet to see one of those implants drop, so... What level is my pet? He's light blue. That's what I'm used to. Yeah, so what I do is I out root the target, and um, every shaman knows this. But I root the target, and order my pet to attack, and throw on a venom breath, and scourge and it'll take down blues completely. I don't have to do anything more. My pet maybe goes down to at most 30 per or s comes down to 60% health at most. Then it uh, heals up pretty fast. So and that's what I do against blues and, and when I'm soloing and it seems to work really well. I'm going to ask him was was torpor worth the cost? I should know this because I'm a shaman too. And maybe one day, many years from now, <laughs> I'll, I'll get that. Unless I win the in-game lottery somehow. Some in-game lottery. There are lotteries that people like to play in East, East Commonlands, but... It, Getting up hundreds of thousands from that is pretty remote, so. It's worth every penny. Good to know. I'm going to throw a strength on my pet, Raging Strength. Maybe I should keep invisibility. Oh, he paid 130k for that. Very expensive. Raging strength. So now we're gonna tr make our way towards the temple entrance, and that's if you remember my story where I was saying that the ogre tried to drop down the hole and then got stuck. <laughs> that's where it will be the entrance to down there. Um, it's not the true entrance, but it's the entrance where you drop down. I forget what those weird they're kind of like Sarnax I don't know if they are Sarnax in, the, in there they're the ones that basically are running this place and everything else is a slave so it's cannibalize off <laughs> Lots of it. So yeah, this is the way shamans med, I suppose. Lots of regen, lots of cannibalizing. I kind of thought that, you know, when... You do this so much because it creates such a cloud around you and it makes a bit of a noise if it wouldn't be annoying, if not to me, to other people. I've gotten used to it myself. It's just funny when there's a couple shaman, excuse me, I'm yawning, a couple shaman doing it <laughs> when the group's kind of nudged all together and other people are casting spells. You get this huge cloud of multicolored spells going. 
usually in the middle of a, a tough fight. <laughs> Oh, somebody's walking. Ravenous Nibbler. Let's, um... Let's run one of my dots. How dare you nibble my... Carrera. <laughs> Carrara. Uh, I saw another silly name coming in. Uh, somebody <laughs> from TMO blew to me, so uh, under 34. Name was um, Scientology Tom Cruise. So I need regen now. Yeah, all my buffs are starting to fade. Well, some of them are. It's doing a lot of damage to my pet, jeez. But my pet's health, I mean, maybe he's healing it? <laughs> I don't know. Pearl earrings, worth like nine gold this way. Uh, a Shadow Knight harm touched somebody. I don't know who. Well, see, like my pet. My pet is a heck of a lot better than a Shadow Knight's pet. I mean, it's within reasonable level range of myself. It's daughter with my invent breath. I thought I put both on her. Maybe it. It uh, was resisted? I don't know. Uh, most mobs out here have damage shield. So it makes melee... That which, which, like with the monk hitting so much, that also explains why he was taking so much pain back. So... Uh, damage shield is not really cool for a monk. Oh, son of a... Not this crap again. You can eat my dots, you coerced goblin. Yeah, our group found that out the hard way. So many mobs have uh, damage shields on them. Either these are wanderers or there's fast spawns. Holy crap. Ah, uh, that's another one over there. Let me, uh... Ah! Uh, there's two over there. Oops, yeah, root, 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 root. Back, back, back. Okay, now it's... Attack. This one's almost dead. Goblin's down. Dotting up the dwarf. He healed my pet. This is going to take everything out of me. What, what the heck happened there? Can't cast while well, stunned. Somebody stunned me. Well, I guess if he's dotting them, I don't need to use all of my dots as a bit. My two dots is a bit of a waste of mana. Um, learn how to control the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I know they can break root. I keep getting stunned. Well, I'm going to go down to 30% and then just rest up. This is a lot of guys. Looks good. Okay. Dwarf is dead and the Dark Elf is dead. No implant. Oh, man. Oh, what's this? Straighted wire. It's not for me. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to look up this quest more. So here we are at the temple entrance. Um, killing coerced, whatever they're called, any coerced we see. Looking for those darn implants. Now somebody on Zam said it's a 1 in 5 drop. I don't know if that's true. We've killed about uh, 20 now. I haven't seen one. And if it was 1 in 5, I'm pretty sure it would have been drop, dropped more often than this. And <laughs> needs more buffs is going crazy, killing everything, rooting them, and uh, using his uber dots. Let's help out with that. Well, there's the goblins up there, too. It's just dark. Of course, gnome. Anything coerced. This is where we were uh, with my group, and and I was it was the younger level. I think we were 27, 28, 29, the highest. But now I'm 34. They're good blues. I mean, if I had two or three, maybe a group of four people, this would be not bad experience. I don't know why. I did that. I don't want to do this either. Using the wrong spells. Now, we just watch everything die <laughs> from our tots. The Tyrdale is almost dead. It's, it's kind of weird, like in EverQuest Next, Tyrdale is... It's more like a, a, a name for Black Pearl. Uh, it's a name for a um, military, elite military unit led by the prince when, when you read the, the lore books. And, but there's no mention of dark elves and they all seem to be like just regular elves. I don't there doesn't seem to be a mention between of a difference between wood elves or high elves. Uh, but I know there are dark elves in there. We've seen pictures of them. And uh, I don't know, maybe an elf is an elf? I, for one, always, have always liked Dark Elves. And, um... I probably will create a Dark Elf uh, in EverQuest next. Maybe like a Dark Elf Rogue. And maybe go like a Shaman Shadow Knight. Um... <laughs> that could heal himself and not have so much downtime. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think downtime for the newer MMOs is becoming a thing of the past, personally. Um, when fight's over, then er you just heal up. Oh. Didn't cast it. Oh, it fizzled. Let's throw a regen on myself. They have really fast spawns in here. This, um... Yeah, if you can't really handle it too well, the spawns you're fighting, having such a fast respawn is... It's a little scary. Just ask how much mana I have. I'm trying to make it go faster by dotting them up. 
Come on, guys. Start dropping them implants. Aren't you, isn't that what's controlling them to begin with? <laughs> So gyrating goo drops, I think I showed you the part, yeah, it drops the uh, gooey adhesives. You need one of those per bracer and one of the coercion implants. And then obviously you have to go get the gem and, and hand in a banded bracer as well. Well, we have another, it's a tear doll. A tear doll is fighting him. Okay, this gnome is dead. Oh, what's this? No, golden pen. What's this sap of piety? Well, I'll take it. Can melee this thing, I guess. <laughs> Funny noise. Okay, uh, what's going on here? Coerce goblin. Let's dot it up. Oh, there's a corpse in the corner. I'll go get that. There's another corpse. I didn't even see all these things. Nothing. What is going on? This is kind of getting irritating. Hey, wait. Why is he small? Why is he smaller than me? I will not be out shrunk. Is there another shrink? Like, how freaking small can you go? I think I'm normal size again. Does it have a, a timer on the shrink? I don't, I'm not sure if it does. I thought it was just till you zone. Wow. Killing so many of them and they're just not dropping. Yeah, th Thrall of Cly. Are they called the Cly, I think? The the race? They just remind me of like spindly looking Sarnax. The Sarnax are kind of spindly anyway. Uh, that goblin's dead now, so I'll go see if it dropped an implant. No. What the heck? Oh, so what about this one? No. That's weird. Supposed to be... Supposed to be from the zone line to the temple or wherever the coerced are. I ha I don't remember. I mean, I thought the drop... Maybe it's just around the corner? I want to go look. I am curious. Bunch of them down here. Throw my... Poison dot. It doesn't do very much, but it'll add to it. Just a few hundred damage. Yeah, so it's around the corner. There's a bunch more. Uh, kill them wherever we can find them, I guess. I must have put uh, the poison buff on me. Yeah, he did. Poison and disease. I guess because all the shaman around. Uh, what's in here? He's dotting them all up. Oh, here's the drop. This is what I wanted to see, guys. Whoa, almost fell down there. <laughs> or no, uh, yeah, aren't you supposed to fall down? I think so. That's a funny anim animation they make when he dots them. Um, I'm going to get... No, because he already dotted them. His dot is more powerful. I think this is the drop. Let's just go down there. 
Yeah, I almost fell right down there. It would have been probably game over for me if I did that. Or for this life, anyways. Now, there's a way, it's like a fair sized dungeon. Um. Everything changes down there. It's all cly with the odd coerced. <laughs> if memory serves me right, there's a exit way down there, and I, I used to go down soloing with my uh, Ixar Shadow Knight. I don't remember what levels. Maybe I was late thirties, early forties run down there and just kind of like own the place. Um, no, I didn't go killing everything. What I would do is I'd kind of choose my little area and, and and just cap that area, whatever was easy. And then um, I would run down the last, it's like this big long room I remember I run down and you have to click on some kind of portal to get out. And it's the only way out unless you can port or gate out of your, unless you want to die of course, but that's not counting. Huh. This is crazy. No drops. We killed so many of them. Oh, there's somebody else in the dungeon. Mastodon. See, everyone's kind of low 30s, 35 and below, or 34 and below. Yeah. We just, when I came in here before with that group a month and a half ago, we just didn't have a very good uh, group makeup. Well, we did until the warrior needed to leave, so but before that was pretty good. Before, before he left, we were doing well, relatively, although, I mean, you have to watch it with the damage shields. Every, every time you hit something, you're... And I was the main healer. I think I was level 27. Um... We had another shaman with us, I don't remember, from Europa, the guild Europa, I forget his name, some ogre shaman, and he was off healing, he was below me. You know what, I think I might have been 29, yeah, I was 29 because I had the big heal when I came here, so I wasn't 27. 27 was the first time we tried to come in and it just didn't work. 29, we were doing okay, and I think I was like the highest person by a level or two. So I was a decent healer, I just got my new big heal, which I'm still using as my main heal now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the other shaman said, well, this it, if you have the, the right group, this is a good place at level 30, so... Just to have not come back, it's... Usually when you look in here, you don't see... You might see two or three people, and that's, that's it. I don't really find that there's many people calling out for... A Dalner guild in, or Dalner group in uh, Warslick's Woods, which is the entrance, where the entrance is. So if you want to find Dalner, I just run through the the bushes on Levitate, and so and I use Lock to find it. Plus thirty five hundred by four thousand approximately to get to the tunnel entrance, and tunnel entrance is in the side of a hill, and you just go through there, and that's where those big apes are, and make a right, the first right in the tunnel, and then it'll take you right to the entrance of Dalner. You gotta go through some water. It's like a illusion, illusionary water. Well, there's something down here. Oh, of course, dwarf. Uh, I can hit him up too. Lots up here. Or I'm, <laughs> for lack of, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's bad. I love the Harry Potter series, and I've been. I'm on the third book now, and I was going to say, for lack of better things to read, no, the Harry Potter series is the reason why it was so popular. It's a good book, good series of books, and I like it. I haven't read it in ten years or, or more, and I'm in the third book now, so I have all seven books. I hope to read them to my son when he gets to be about, what, six, seven? I think that's about the proper age. Um, try to convince him to read himself, I suppose. He's way too young now. He loves books, loves looking through them, and making up his own words as he's 
and as he's laughing at the pictures and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I was going to say uh, there's loads here. <laughs> that's not something we say in North America. That's a that's a British thing. I think Ron Weasley would say something like that. There's loads here. <laughs> oh, there's lots here. Too much slang in the British language, or uh, not language, uh, British dialect. Yeah, you guys have slanged up your own damn language. Like the, the purest form of English is now spoken by Western Canadians. Very little slang in our English, and my granny was very much English. Um, her mother was actually English, but she was raised... She had no accent, of course. Her father was Scottish, and uh, her mother was English, and she was brought up as a proper English woman. I guess uh, she was born in 1926, died 2003, so never met my great grandma that I I remember. So can't tell you about the English part, but uh, yeah, everything had to be properly done and very English. So that's how I, my mom was raised, and I was, guess I was raised the same way too. And we speak very clear English out here. None of that crazy boot stuff in downtown Tirana or whatever the hell you fools backies call it. <laughs> uh, it's all in fun until we play in hockey. We, uh, my, the Canucks are having a really bad streak the last three years, so we almost had it in 2011. <laughs> almost had it. Uh, of course, my city. I don't know of any other North American city that's rioted twice over losing in the uh, Stanley Cup final. Game 7. But no, I did not participate in the riots. I was actually uh, over at my RCMP friend's house when <laughs> the rioting took place. And I was just like, oh, you idiots. Quite far away from that. That's downtown Vancouver. Um... Yeah, we're not not anywhere near that. That's uh, a bit of a drive, like uh, with no traffic, maybe forty minutes. With with traffic, two hours, <laughs> hour and a half from where I am here. Pure dog, that's worth a ten flat. I'll take that. Okay, so there's some guys up there. I know that's their corpses. So we'll go and check this out. Um, kind of blabbering away and poor needs more buffs is so doing all the work. Another one of those lumpy goos. At least those things are dropping. So he's dotted this one up. Let's see if we can't add our own. What's this? A smoldering goo. I haven't seen that guy before. Oh, interrupted. Yeah, what was it back in the day? Um, it apparently, uh, what was it? All the languages, all the not language, the di English, different English dialects in uh, East London. There's like what, f the Cockney dialects. There's like every block or two, there was a different one. <laughs> there's like fifty different dialects just in East London alone. I no idea how the heck that could possibly happen. It's people living so close together, you think they'd all be interacting and and speaking. The same kind of uh, accent, but uh, or, or words or whatever the heck you you call it, just not used to that. Everyone out here, and even all the Americans on the the West Coast, they all sound the exact same as we do here. So, I don't know. Um, there's uh, the New England accent. There's the New Yorker accent. I couldn't tell you if there's a new if there's a Jersey accent. I don't know. Then there's the southern accent, and I guess this is kind of like the Texan accent, which is close, or is the southern accent, I don't know. That's all the accents we have. Oh, and then there's the eastern Canadian <laughs> English accent, of course. Um, probably not that much different. 
I don't know. I've never met a Canadian that says a boot. I'm kind of wondering if there's just those crazy Americans that make that up about us just for something to laugh at. I keep saying when I meet people from back east, so you guys say a boot? And they're like, no. So who the hell says a boot? <laughs> okay, that's fine. You make up stuff about Canadians. We'll make up stuff about you. Actually, we don't need to make up stuff about you Americans. So, Love you and hate you guys at the same time. You're like one of those uh, guys that's always getting in bar fights and we have to help you out. <laughs> oh, here we come. Coarse Dwarf. And there's, there's a bunch more. Pop. Not that we bail you out, but we, we do throw little punches to help you out. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, our military isn't anything to laugh at anymore. I think uh, in the last, since probably the last 10, 15 years, we've really beefed it up, uh, upgraded it, and it's, it's fair size. It was really shrinking in the 80s and 90s, but uh, not a bad military. I think we have one of the top five spending on the military in the world for, for a country. Of course, uh, U.S. would be number one, and probably, oh, I, I would guess China. Then what? England? Uh, no, probably Russia after China. Then maybe England and then maybe Canada. But that this is going on, what, five, five-year-old information. I don't know if it's changed, but uh, yeah, we're not uh, little pushovers anymore. And just remember, you Americans, on the only war we fought together, we actually won. We beat you. Of course, there were no real Canadians there anyways. It was all... Canada really didn't exist back then. It was, uh, I think that our, the native Indians actually did most of the fighting and there was a little bit of British to help us out. <laughs> but still counted as Canada somehow because that's, we take pride in that fact. Yeah, the East, uh, it would have been on, wouldn't have been called Ontario then, but like, uh, what was it, 18, 1812? Was it uh, 1815? Um, I've got that book. I had to study it in university. His Majesty's English um, Indian Allies is what it's called. Fascinating stuff about how the British were tormenting the Americans with uh, kind of goading them back into war. I don't know why they would have been doing that when their biggest enemy at the time was Napoleon. So it was strange. Their press gangs and treating the American. Um, Oh, they did like four or five things. I had to list all the points. But yeah, I, I would have been pretty upset with the British too. They just were treated like... The British treated the Americans like crap back then. But uh, that's the Americans lost the war, basically. I mean, they burned the first White House down. First Capitol down. I don't know if it was called the White House. Oh, what is this? It's just serrated wire. I, th I think we're kind of think we're doing the wrong thing. And uh, I'm going to have another look. I'm trying to watch a video on my second monitor. Stop breaking my route. <laughs> These guys don't hurt you anyways, man. <laughs> look how big he is. Like, just his head. His head is like the size of my torso. I think something is wrong. When if you, after you've killed like 50 of them, all I'm getting is a canine and serrated wire, and none of this is right. So I'm going to go look it up because this is crazy. Be right back. All right, finally gotten it. Um, who's this guy? <laughs> Somebody right next to me, right next to my uh, buying point. Whoa, there's a troll in here. Wow, that person must have worked hard for the faction. Uh, so here it is, the coercion implant. Probably one of the most difficult things to get in all of the camping I've done in this game. Uh, simply because I just 
they weren't dropping. We must, we must have killed two, three hundred of the guys, and finally it dropped. One of them dropped, anyways. And uh, so you just have to keep on killing the coerced, uh, whatever they are. Now I need to find. Uh, here it is. Okay. So we need to go back and get uh, more of these. Two more. The gooey adhesives are easy to get. It's the coercion plant that's not. So. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit myself up. With this uh, alluring aura, and I need to look up <laughs> what I need to buy, so um, I'll go to the point where I hand it in, and then uh, we'll be good. See you in a bit. Okay, so we need to buy a ruby and a sapphire. Let's see. Um, do I have the buff alluring aura? Yes, I already cast that. A ruby and a sapphire. Uh, here's a ruby. Ruby and a sapphire. Right here. Okay. And that's that. I didn't know that you can control and uh, click on buy to get only one. And uh, somebody on my channel, not sure who, it might have been Flysticks, told me that that's what you should be doing. Okay, so Sapphire, Ruby, let's get this in order. So many bags. Okay, so a Sapphire goes with the Bam Braces. That's Ruby. And that's all I need for that. And this goes here, and let's take off my arm, <laughs> arms. Never heard of just arms you put on. So it's sapphire. But that's all we need. And then <clears throat> that's two more pieces of armor for the Scale Mystic armor quests and. What I'll be left with is still one more bracer to go grab and uh, needs more buffs to agree to help me because it is a massive pain in the butt. Even if I was 40, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could if I had my pet running around and ripping these guys up. But, uh, oh, and I forgot who to give it to. Um, yeah, neither names. So, be right back. Both go to Zazlan. So, Shesley, you're out of the loop. I have everything I need from you. And let's go Frogluck Treated Plank. Frenzied Gnar Tail, um, Sapphire, and Banded Sleeves. Alright, and what we got? Scale Mystic Van Braces, 8 AC, 5 Stamina, 2 Wisdom. I didn't know there was Wisdom on the, the arms. And 5 Agility. That makes it a little bit better because everything we're questing for today has Wisdom on it. And, uh,. The bracers have two strengths, so that'll help to make up for the loss of the plus five strength from the wraith bone hammer that I used to sport. Okay, so banded bracer, ruby, gooey adhesive, and the really difficult to find coercion implant. We have to go hunt another one of these down. It took us like, what, three hours just to get the one? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so. And here we have the Skill Mystic Bracers, 7 AC, 2 Strength, 2 Wisdom. And I will put it in place of my current Bandit item. And now all we need to do is go back. I uh, made up a little bit of AC. I actually died. I was uh, overwhelmed in Delner. Uh, I think there was two mobs that were chased after me and harm touched me. And uh, just wasn't able to get a heal off on myself. And needs more buff was currently occupied with uh, dealing with other guys i think i pulled too many and it got a little crazy there so not a big deal um it's everquest it's what happens all right guys uh, i'm not sure how long this video will be but i'm going to try to get it out tonight which means i'm going to have to run it in the background um everquest is such a low system hog so it's a pretty dated game now it'll be 15 years uh in march i think 15 years in march and that's just next month, wow. <laughs> Can you believe it? 15 years ago, EverQuest launched. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And um, I've got a bit of a camp ahead. Hopefully I'll get that last uh, 
coercion implant easily. But uh, now look at me. I kind of all blend together. I actually saw an Ixar shaman with purple armor all over. And uh, he had an... I think it was a male character. Male... Um, yeah, male character. And... Um, he had the, like, the same epic that Need More buff has, so I'm pretty sure it was 60. I didn't, it was anonymous, so I couldn't tell. But um, The armor looked pretty cool. I think it looked a lot better being purple, so I'm not sure what armor that is. For all I know, that's imbued Cabalist scale, which is my goal in the future. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the best armors in the game. So eventually, because I'm a, I'm a smith, I will be trying to work on that. Uh, this is uh, probably should go back to the bank before I go back to Delner. I don't need to carry all my money with me. Um, 800 plat that's all I have to my name uh, money comes and goes and oops fell in the water so thanks for watching guys this will be the, the last one of those thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe